Oh god, what is this? Oh no, it's so laggy. Oh, it's laggy. Oh my god. Oh no. Look at this. This is unbearable. Oh my god. Hey guys, what's up? It's Green Aria, and welcome to how to improve your FPS in Minecraft. So, you know the intro, most of us tried this in Minecraft, and you know, it's a very common thing to experience in Minecraft. You know, just lag. Lag, 10 FPS, 2 FPS, 30 FPS. Now, 30 FPS is actually playable, but it's not that pleasant to play at. But, you know, most of us tried it, to try this. Even though it's not Minecraft in particular, but no, everyone has tried this in games. So, I'll try and improve on this. So, let's get on to this. I'm going to go on, to, uh, you know, I'm going to go through a list here, and we've got some different topics like Optifine and just some encoding in Minecraft, which is not really, it's easy, it's not complicated. We've got, you know, the settings menu, which is obvious, and we've got you know some system optimization within Windows. Again, this is not complicated. It's very easy once you follow the steps. So let's get onto this, shall we? So I'll meet you in Windows with our first step. So let's go. Whoa. Okay, guys. Welcome to my desktop. And as you can see here, I've got some applications open. We got Word, PowerPoint, and etc. So you know, having applications open on your PC will affect your performance. This can vary a lot. It can be, you know, a low hit. No. Uh, one a hit that isn't that uh, significant, or it could be a very hard punching hit, you know, so it'll hit your system hard, and you'll get low FPS in your games and whatnot. So I'd suggest closing these applications down before gaming in Minecraft, so you can just close these down like that. Just close the windows, uh, close windows, but I mean close window. So just close all of your applications down. That's one tip for me. And um, if you're playing on a laptop, actually, if you can't really get that high FPS in Minecraft, and you're playing on a laptop, and you and you've still closed all of your applications, you are missing something, and that is plugging your laptop into the wall. Just get your power cord, reach out your cable and plug your laptop into the wall and you'll get a significant FPS boost. Now I've planned you know a stationary computer, a desktop, but I've also played on laptops for some time now and I've actually experienced this and I actually thought it was pretty weird at first but it happens to every laptop gamer just plug in your laptop. So, you know, that's the tip for, you know, system optimi optimization. You can also do, like, um, race, a race game booster thing. I think you can get that from the internet. But let's go over to the Minecraft launcher. So, let's go over here. As you can see, I've opened up the launcher. And we can take a profile here. And, you know, we could take up to find all that stuff. I'll cover that later. But you can just press an edit profile here. And as you can see, yeah, we got a lot of different things. You can, you know, customize all of these things. Resolution-wise, I don't know if you want to play in full, full screen or if you want to play in, uh, you know, you know, window version. So, yeah, that's up to you. But playing on a lower resolution will definitely boost your FPS, and I'd actually recommend this. But as you can see here, down here, we got this JVM argument. I'd probably put a check mark here and edit this. So what you want to go and do is type in like dash, as you can see here, this line here, this line here. And once you've typed in dash, you're going to uh, type in capital X, then MX here, lowercase, and uppercase, uppercase, uppercase X, and lowercase MX. And then the amount of RAM you want to utilize into your um, Minecraft. I've got 16 gigabytes of RAM, and I'm going to use a fourth of my RAM. So that's four, and then it's followed by another case G. Now, if if you have four gigabytes of RAM, you could use one, which is like 
Oh no, I think that's the default setting. If you got 8, you could use 2. And if you got like 16, you could use 4. And you could also use 8, actually, but... You know, just just set in... Just put in the amount um, that you don't want to use. I'd probably go with either half or a fourth of your RAM. That's you know, my go-to settings. Now, version-wise, I'd probably just go with the latest version, and that's it. So, you can also uh, click on the launcher visibility. If you close it, it'll also give you some more FPS, as we said before. Closing your applications will help you. So, save pro profile, and let's get into Minecraft again. Minecrafty stuff. So, yeah, I'll see you in there. Bye. Okay, guys, welcome back to Minecraft. So. I'm inside of my world again, everything's actually a bit smoother, and that's really good. So, you are, I, th I think you've got, you know, a smooth experience by now. And let's, you know, just bump that up a little bit. So let's go on to, you know, press escape, and then go into options and video settings. So, here we got, uh, we got a lot of settings, as you can see here we got greater distance, max frame rate, view bobbing, brightness, particles, V-Sync, don't turn that off, uh, don't turn that on actually, ultimate blocks, entity shadows, and all that stuff, so, if you want to get a smooth FPS, I'd probably go with fast graphics here, because it's more simplistic, and there's no transparency on the blocks, which is not, you know, that makes it easier on your PC. Smooth lightning, if you uh, lightning, lighting, smooth lighting. I'd probably go with either off or minimum. So, I'd go with that. Probably mini minimum. Um, GUI scale won't really, I don't think it will affect your performance. So, I'd probably just leave it at large or, out, or auto. Auto, sorry. Uh, clouds. You can turn those off or they can be fast. If you want to have clouds, just turn them on fast. Uh, full screen wise, uh, no. Once you turn that off, it'll be less hard hitting on your system, so you could turn that off, but you won't have a full screen experience. Mid map levels will affect your P FPS so, so much. It's, it's essentially a filter that filters out all of the hard. Uh, edges and blocks so it doesn't look as uh, jagged and rough so if you have maybe map levels on 4 it's going to be very smooth but if you have it at 2 it's still smooth but it's a bit more jagged and there's going to be a, some ugly textures so you can turn those off or set it at 1 if you just want to have a bit smooth for Minecraft VBO, VBOS settings is going to utilize your graphics card into the game and it's going to give you, uh, I know, it, it's going to vary. If you don't have a graphics card, it won't really work, and your Minecraft is probably going to crash. So if you only have a processor with uh, onboard graphics, I wouldn't really use this. Okay, uh, if you have a graphics card here, just turn that off. Uh, we ran a distance, you know, we, we got the old trick, set it on two, and you've got a lot more FPS, but I'm probably not going to go with that. I'd Probably go with either, you know, four to eight, ten or twelve chunks. These settings here are pretty good. You know, it doesn't look that bad, as you can see. Twelve chunks um, is a bit hard hitting, but if you set it at eight, it's going to be a little more, you know, a little more playful. Playful. If you set it at four. It'll look a little weird, you know, a little foggy, but you can work with it, and it's still kind of, you know, it doesn't look that bad. And if we go back into our video settings, we can we got brightness that won't really affect anything. Bobbing, it'll just you know make the screen wobble. If you want that, you could use it. I don't think it actually um, affects the the, the the performance. Um, particle wise, um, I'd probably go with decreased or minimal. If you want to have particles, I'd go with decreased. Again, this is de depending on how you want to watch or play your Minecraft. If you want to uh, want, if you want to want um, not all of the cool special effects and stuff, I'd probably just set all of these fancy effects on minimal, minimum or minimal or decreased. 
um, V-Sync, turn that off. It just cuts your FPS in half. Don't use it. Okay, that's 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 my own advice. I also know block stuff. I I don't actually know if this is a thing. I, I think it's uh, something to do with um, you know putting textures together to get a new block. But again, you won't see this. I've never seen an alternate alternate block before. So just keep it on on or off if you want to if you want to have that. Entity shadows is hard hitting depending on where you are. If you're on a field with cows, you'll get a lower FPS and if you're on a big server like a PvP server like NCSG, Entity Shadows is going to get you a long way because all of these shadows are dynamic and they'll fly all over the place and they'll hit your system hard. So I'd go with off on this and that's about it. You could also go with resource packs, you know we got some other ones, I'm using a faithful pack, this is, I don't know, I think it's twice as high in resolution than the default one, but you can also go with like a smaller resolution one, so as you can see here, yeah, this is 16 by 16 um, pixels I guess, and the faithful one is 20, what no, 32 by 32, so everything is a bit more, you know, it, it's more I don't know what I want to say, a, a more high definition, you could say that, so, yeah, a bit more high definition, if you use texture packs that will work, it will help your system getting some of that load off, so, otherwise than that, you could use Optifine, I won't cover Optifine again, just because it's very, it's very similar to the normal video settings and Optifine will give you help and I'll probably make you know a video on how to, up, to how to install Optifine so I'll do that in the next video which is going to come out just after this so I'll upload this and then I'll upload the Optifine one and you'll probably have a lot more FPS so you guys um, it was good getting it, it was it, it was nice getting back back into YouTube and I want to say thank you for watching so um, I'll just turn this back on to ultimate graphics something so uh, let's just set this on here videos clouds fancy all that stuff maximum like that goody mac goody goody so yeah I want to say thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon again I'm screen horror the FPS king and I'll see you soon bye